Hello and welcome back to the Dosha Room. We are finishing off series four with our Kappa balancing flow. So come to the top of your mat, release the hands beside the body, roll the shoulders, wave the spine, belly in and up, chest up, head up, hugging and lifting that whole 3D of the body. From here, curl up your right leg and I'll just center myself. Curl up your right leg. You can lightly interlace your fingers and bring that leg nice and high. Plantar flex your ankle, so straight front ankle, but flick the toes. That creates a really strong muscle set for the soles of your feet. Left hand releases down on your hip. Right hand comes on the inside of your leg and bring your femur parallel to the floor. And I'll just turn to the camera so you see the movement. Bring that leg out to the side. Hugging and lifting here. Don't let your body sink down. Nice and long. Coming back to center, cross your wrists, back of the left hand on the outside of your knee, and unthread your right arm to the back. You can follow through with your gaze if your neck is okay, but if not, just Look neutrally forward, wherever your gaze will land. Coming back to center, hands together, lift your ankle up on top of your knee and bend your standing knee. In a hurdler stretch or a figure four. Slide that foot down, come into your forward fold. Deep long breath. Soften your knees, palms facing out, and roll yourself up, open your arms nice and wide, retracting your scapula, big circular motion with the arms, hands in, thread them down, curl your left leg up, lightly interlace your fingers, and catch your knee. Plantar flex the ankle, but flick the toes up. Release your right hand on your hip, left femur, comes down parallel to the floor and have one breath here. Then bring the back of the left hand on the inside of your left knee and bring that leg out to the side. Again, facing front, just so you know what's happening in the pose, hugging and lifting up here. Back to front. Cross your ankles, back of the right hand on the outside of your left knee, and you're threading your arm, left arm to the back. If your neck is okay, gaze at your hand, at your thumb. But if your cervical spine isn't happy with this, just neutrally forward to wherever the, the gaze will fall, whichever angle the neck likes. Back to center, ankle on top of your knee, hands together, melting down, figure four. Let's make this more graceful. Slide your foot down, forward fold, letting your head go, bend the knees slightly. Palms facing out, bend your knees to catch your body weight, roll up. Big, wide, circular motion with the arms. Hands in, thread them down as you curl your right leg up, interlace your fingers, and hug. Release your left hand on your hip, right femur, right thigh parallel to the floor. Back of the hand on the inside, press that leg out. Allow your body to do those micro movements, especially of the standing leg. It helps us maintain the balance. Back to center, cross your wrists, thread your right arm to the back, and a twist. Coming back to center, hands in, ankle on top of your knee, figure four. Reset the breath here. Melt down, forward fold. Bend the knees, roll up. Arms, draw a big circle 
like opening your wings. Hands in, thread your Anjali Mudra down to your heart space, curling the left leg up. Interlace the fingers and hug that leg nice and high into the body. Right hand releases to your hip, left femur parallel to the floor. You can keep supporting that leg or the hand can be released, lifting that leg up by its own muscular action, back of the hand and the inside of the leg and press it out. Deep, full breath. Coming back to center, cross your wrists, unthread your left arm, coming into a standing twist. The Balinese dancer, standing twist. Coming back to center, ankle on top of your knee, hands together, figure four. Melt down, forward fold. Now just turn to you for this last round, our Balinese dancer. Bend your knees, wave your spine up, open your wings, looking up even if you want to. Hands in, thread them down as your right leg lifts up, interlace your fingers and catch your knee. Deep full breath. Left hand on your hip, right femur parallel to the floor, supported or unsupported. Back of the hand, that would be the right hand on the inside and press that leg out. Coming back to center, cross your wrists and come into your Balinese dancer twist. Coming back to center, hands in, ankle on your knee, figure four. Slide your foot down, forward fold. Soften your knees, waving up. Breathing, hands in, Thread your arms down as you curl up your left leg. Interlace the fingers. Catch your knee. Right hand on your hip. Left femur parallel to the floor. Supported or unsupported. Hug and lift. Back of the left hand on the inside of your knee and press that leg out to the side. Coming back to center, cross your wrists and twist. Coming back to center, hands together, ankle on top of your knee, figure four. Release down on the mat. Forward fold. Breathing. Last one. Soften your knees. Rolling up. Hands in. Thread it down as your right leg is lifting up. Interlace your fingers. Catch your knee. Release. Left hand on your hip, right hand supporting your leg or unsupported lift. Back of the hand on the inside of the knee, of the knee and open up. Deep full breath. Smile. Back to center. Cross your wrists and come into your twist. Coming back to center, hands together in prayer pose, ankle on your knee, figure four.
melt down, forward fold. Soften your knees, roll up. Hands in, thread them down as your left leg is rolling up. Interlace your fingers, catch your knee, lengthen up. Right hand on your hip, left hand supporting your leg or not. Supported or unsupported lift. Back of the left hand on the inside of your knee and press it out. Deep full breath. Back to center, cross your wrists and come into your twist. Coming back to center, hands together, figure four. Bringing yourself low, bending that standing knee a little bit more if you want to. Melt down, forward fold. And I will just reset myself back to the top of my mat in my forward fold. From your forward fold, soften your knees, backs of the hands in, thread up. Push your hips forward, shallow or deep back bend. Contract the front, lift up. Hands in, elbows pressing in. Lead with the crown of your head, forward fold. Bend the knees as you go down. Separate your hands beside your feet, let the head go. Look through the gap between your legs and as high up that gap as you can. Don't let your body hang here. Fingertips down on the mat. Travel your fingertips high on your shins. Push the length of your arms into your shins and lift up halfway. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale. Forward fold. Step or jump back. Plank. Now, here in plank, walk your legs out. Doesn't matter which one first. Just out of the mat, bring them back in. That's one. Out, in. That's two. Out, in. That's three. Two more. Out, in. Strong arms. Out, in. All the way down. Untuck your toes. Wave yourself up. Cobra or upward facing dog. From here, transition back to plank. Lift yourself up into a pointed plank. So my toes are pointing away. Then flip them over. Bend your knees, push back. Puppy pose, downward facing dog. One spinal wave, belly in and up. Chest up, head up, exhale down. Heels up, knees and elbows bend. Step or jump, top of your mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale down. Backs of the hands together, knees bent, and wave up. So it's a sun sanitation A with butterfly planks. Shallow or deep back bend. Lift up. Hands in, elbows in, forward fold. If you need to rest, you're welcome to pause and rest. Inhale, lift up halfway, exhale down, step or jump back, plank. You are welcome to just walk your legs out once again or soften your knees and jump out. It's a small hop, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, that's five, all the way down. Untuck your toes, waving up cobra or upward facing dog. Transitioning to pointed plank, tuck your toes under, push back, puppy pose, downward facing dog, spinal wave. Step or jump, top of your mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale down. It's quite a strong flow. Backs of your hands together, bend your knees, lift up. 
Wave the spine and push your hips forward. Lift up, contract the front abdominal muscles. Hands in, elbows in, forward fold. Separate your hands, let your head go. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold, step or jump back, plank. Butterfly planks, five, four, three, two, one. All the way down. Cobra or upward facing dog, transition back up through plank. If you did cobra, then you're doing the full plank with the toes tucked under. Bend your knees, puppy pose, downward facing dog. Spinal wave. Step or jump up, top of your mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale down. Backs of the hands together, thread up. Shallow or deep back bend. Contract the abdominals to lift up. Hands in, elbows in, forward fold. Separate your hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Step or jump back. Plank. Out to butterfly planks. Five, four, three, two, one. Puppy pose. Downward facing dog. I did a combination there just to encourage you to choose what you want. But if you do want the combination of stepping and jumping, you're welcome to that as well. Heels up, knees and elbows bend, step or jump, top of your mat. Inhale, lift up halfway, exhale down, backs of the hands in, thread up. Wave the spine and push your hips forward. Lift up, contract the front abdominal muscles, hands in, elbows in, forward fold. Separate your hands, let your head go. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold, step or jump back, plank. Butterfly planks, five, four, three, two, one. All the way down. Cobra or upward facing dog, Transition back up through plank. If you did cobra, then you're doing the full plank with the toes tucked under. Bend your knees, puppy pose, downward facing dog. Spinal wave. Step or jump up, top of your mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale down. Backs of the hands together. Thread up. Shallow or deep back bend. Contract the abdominals to lift up. Hands in, elbows in, forward fold. Let's do one half low to get back into downward facing dog. Fingertips high on your shins, waving up halfway. Exhale down. Backs of the hands together. Thread yourself up. Shallow or deep back bend by pushing the hips forward. Contract the abdominals, lift up. Hands in, elbows in, forward fold. Lifting up halfway. Real good back strengthener, the half lifts. Hands down, step or jump back, plank. Just one half flow all the way down or halfway. Cobra or upward facing dog, back through plank, puppy pose, downward facing dog. Give yourself a spinal wave. Right leg curls up into the body, point the knee back and up and extend, three-legged dog. 
wave forward, three-legged plank, bend that knee and step it through. Back heel down on the mat. I have my block here beside me and I'll show you your modifications with the block. But from here, backs of the hands together, strong front leg to catch the body weight, wave just the sternum up, head and your arms in an extended warrior. So the belly is still down on their thigh, but you're lifting the head and chest up as high as that connection will allow. Deep, full breath. With your left arm already extended forward, lift your body up slightly, thread your right forearm down on your thigh and coming into a side angle. Deep, full breath, strong back leg. Lift yourself up, soft in, in the transition, bring your right arm forward and up, arm of the extended leg, of the um, forward leg, sorry, arm of the forward leg up, arm of the back leg to the back. That's important because we'll reverse this later. Lift yourself up, back into extended warrior, then left hand down on the mat. You can make it flat or you can use your block. Right arm waves up in your revolved side angle. Stay if this is enough or bring your body weight forward. Bring your lifted arm to the back. Bend your knee and float that leg up. Holding on to the arch side of your foot and keep adjusting your blocked hand to where it will catch your body weight. Deep, full breath. Release that leg back down, foot down on the mat. From here, lead with your right arm. Right arm up and over, left arm up and over. So the arm of the forward leg, right side, is now behind, arm of the back leg, left side is now up. So this is more of a back bend, exalted warrior, as opposed to, and I'll just show you quickly, more of a lateral flexion, exalted warrior. Lift up, hands down, bring your block away, stepping back, plank, knees down, untuck your toes, extended child's pose. Widen your knees here if you need to give you more of a breathing space. Wave the torso up just slightly, just to give yourself space to bring the knees back into your hip width distance. Tuck the toes under, lift up through puppy pose, downward facing dog. Spinal wave, and exhale. Left leg curls under the body, Point the knee back and up, extend. Wave forward, just a moment in three-legged plank. Bend that knee and step it through. Back heel down on the mat, 30 or 45 degree angles. Warrior legs. Wave the chest up, head up, backs of the hands together, thread up. Extended warrior. Once again, very strong strengthening for the back. Belly down on your thigh, and you're lifting the head and chest and arms as high as that connection will allow. Deep, full breath. From here, lift your torso up slightly. Your right arm is already in a diagonal position. Just thread your left arm on top of your thigh, and you're coming into your side angle. Don't collapse down here on your, on your lower shoulder. Lift yourself up. Hug and lift. Lift up, soften the arms, transition into our lateral flexion, exalted warrior. Back leg, back arm around the waist. Forward leg, top arm, lifting up and reaching to the back. Release the pose, back into extended warrior. Right hand down on the mat with or without your block and open up in a twist, revolved side angle. Stay if this is enough or top hand goes to the back, 
body weight forward, bend your right knee and hold on to that foot. Adjust your standing hand wherever it needs to be to support the body weight. Don't lock your standing knee, give it a micro bend. And that lifted knee, lift it up a little bit more, if you can. Deep, full breath. Release the pose, hands down. Lead with your left arm, forward and up. Right arm, forward and up. In a back bend, exalted warrior. But because this is a back bend, you're still pushing your hips forward and tilting it up to come into a more natural back bend. Lift up, contract the front, contract your abdominals. Hands down, step back. Plank. Knees down, untuck your toes, extended child's pose. Deep, full breath. Tuck your toes under, lift back up. Through puppy pose, downward facing dog. Right leg curls under the body, point the knee back and up, extend. Wave forward, three-legged plank, bend that knee, step it through. Back heel down on the mat, backs of the hands together, wave the chest and head and arms, exalted warrior. The body is in a diagonal position. Lift your torso up slightly until you can thread your right arm on top of your thigh and coming into a higher version of side angle. Deep, full breath. Lift up. Exalted warrior. Right arm up, left arm around the back waist. Lift. Right side of the belly, back down on your thigh, arms extending forward, head and chest lifting up. Extended warrior. Left hand down on the mat, right arm up, revolved side angle, and stay. Or body weight forward, curl up your left leg, hold on to the arch side of your foot, and a Tessellation bind, lift. Deep, full breath. Release the pose. Foot down. Lead with your right arm up and over. Left arm up and over. Bring the right arm around the back waist, pushing the hips forward, tilting the, the hips, coming into your back bend, exalted warrior. Contract your abdominals, lift up, hands down, step back plank, knees down, untuck your toes, extended child's pose. Last one, to the left side. Tuck the toes under, puppy pose. Downward facing dog. Spinal wave. Left leg curls up. Knee points back and up. Extend. Wave forward. Three-legged plank. Bend that knee. Draw it forward. Back heel down on the mat. Backs of the hands together. Strong front leg. Extended warrior. Deep full breath. Transition from this, forearm on your thigh, side angle. Lift up, exalted warrior with the left arm up, right arm around the back waist, lateral flexion, exalted warrior. Lift up, thread your right arm forward, belly on your thigh, Extended warrior. Right hand down on the mat and turn yourself open to your left side. Revolved side angle with the top arm in a vertical position. Body weight forward, 
Top arm to the back, bend your knee and catch your foot. Keep adjusting your standing arm wherever it needs to be to catch your weight. And again, you don't have to come to this pose if you don't want to or you're not ready. Deep, full breath. Release the pose. Back down on the mat. Lead with your left arm. Moving yourself up. Swimming back. Left arm around the back waist. Right arm reaches up. Pushing the hips forward. Back bend, exalted warrior. Lift up, contract the front of the body, hands down, step back, plank, one half low, all the way down or halfway, cobra or upward facing dog, back through plank, puppy pose, and downward facing dog. Give yourself a spinal wave. Catch your breath here, facing dog. Right leg curls under the body, point the knee back and up, extend. Wave forward, three-legged plank, bend that knee, step it through. Back heel down on the mat, backs of the hands together, wave the chest and head and arms, exalted warrior. The body is in a diagonal position. Lift your torso up slightly until you can thread your right arm on top of your thigh and coming into a higher version of side angle. Deep, full breath. Lift up. Exalted warrior. Right arm up, left arm around the back waist. Lift, right side of the belly, back down on your thigh, arms extending forward, Head and chest lifting up. Extended warrior. Left hand down on the mat. Right arm up. Revolved side angle. And stay. Or body weight forward. Curl up your left leg. Hold on to the arch side of your foot. In a tessellation bind lift. Deep full breath. Release the pose, foot down, lead with your right arm up and over, left arm up and over, bring the right arm around the back waist, pushing the hips forward, tilting the, the hips, coming into your back bend, exalted warrior. Contract your abdominals, lift up, hands down, step back plank, Knees down, untuck your toes, extended child's pose. Last one, to the left side. Tuck the toes under, puppy pose. Downward facing dog. Spinal wave. Left leg curls up, knee points back and up. Extend, wave forward, three-legged plank, bend that knee, draw it forward. Back heel down on the mat, backs of the hands together, strong front leg, extended warrior. Deep full breath. Transition from this, forearm on your thigh, side angle. Lift up, exalted warrior with the left arm up, right arm around the back waist, lateral flexion, exalted warrior. Lift up, thread your right arm forward, belly on your thigh, extended warrior. Right hand down on the mat and turn yourself open to your left side Revolved side angle with the top arm in a vertical position. Body weight forward, top arm to the back, bend your knee 
and catch your foot. Keep adjusting your standing arm wherever it needs to be to catch your weight. And again, you don't have to come to this pose if you don't want to or you're not ready. Deep, full breath. Release the pose. Back down on the mat. Lead with your left arm. Moving yourself up. Swimming back. Left arm around the back waist. Right arm reaches up. Pushing the hips forward. Back bend, exalted warrior. Lift up, contract the front of the body, hands down, step back, plank, one half low, all the way down or halfway, cobra or upward facing dog, back through plank, puppy pose, and downward facing dog. Give yourself a spinal wave. Catch your breath here. Downward facing dog. Heels up, knees all the way down, untuck the toes. And I just want to give you um, a heads up. This next one is um, a little bit strong. You can always stop and rest and pause whenever you need to. And I will show you progressional modifications for the pose so it doesn't look very scary, but don't be scared. From here, downward facing dog. Right leg curls up, point the knee back and up, and extend. Now, my, my lifted leg, I'm going to bend the knee once again and bring it low. So the knee is still bent, but I'm bringing it low, and I'm bringing it to the opposite side. So I'm crossing it on top of my left leg, and I am spinning. If you've noticed, I allowed my feet to adjust. Don't let your feet be stuck pointing towards your head when it wants to point away from it. So let your feet point away and lift yourself up. From here, hand down, spin back into downward three-legged downward facing dog. Same leg, bend, bring it this time under the arch of your body. So in front of the standing, standing leg in front of my left leg and I'm spinning towards the right side. And again, look at my feet, they are turning. They're not stuck pointing towards my head. They are turning in the direction that my body is going and I'm lifting up. Come out of this pose, hands down, back to three-legged dog, wave forward, three-legged plank, all the way down or halfway. Three-legged cobra. Exhale down. Three-legged plank. Three-legged dog, bend your standing knee. Bend that knee and step it down. Wave the spine. Whew. And breathe. Left leg, curl it up. Point the knee back and up. Extend the leg. Just a moment here in three-legged dog. Then bend that knee and I'm bringing it low on the mat. Bring it to the right side behind. So on the calf side of your leg, behind your leg and you're turning. Upward facing dog. Well, now, <clears throat> and you're turning in a flip dog. Hand down, coming back into a softer three-legged dog. Same leg, left leg, bend and bring it this time on the shin side of your leg, crossing under your body and you're spinning to the left side, to the camera side for me, lifting up. Hand down, back to three-legged dog, wave forward, three-legged plank. All the way down or halfway. Three-legged cobra or three-legged upward facing dog. If you did a three-legged upward facing dog, those standing toes can, be, can still be left tucked under. Back to three-legged plank, three-legged puppy pose, three-legged dog, and step it down. Spinal wave. 
Let's make it a little bit smoother. Right leg curls up, point the knee back and up, extend. If you want to, leave that leg high or bring it low and bring that leg out to the left side and flip. Flip your dog. Coming back, hand down, right leg lifts up. Bend your knee and thread it under the arch of your, of your body this time and turn. Hand down, three-legged dog, three-legged plank, three-legged cobra, or three-legged upward facing dog, back to three-legged plank, three-legged puppy pose, three-legged dog, and downward facing dog. Spinal wave. Left side. Curl your leg up, point the knee back and up, extend. Keep that leg high or bring it low and bring it to the right side on the calf side of your leg, of your standing leg and twist. Lifting up. How are we doing? Hand down on the mat. Just a moment back in three-legged dog. Then soften that floating leg, thread it under the arch of your body in front of your leg and twist to the other side, flipping over to the other side. Breathing, hand down, three-legged dog, float forward, three-legged plank, all the way down or halfway, three-legged cobra or three-legged upward facing dog, Back to three-legged plank, three-legged puppy, three-legged dog. Bend that knee, step it down. Spinal wave. Right leg curls up, point the knee back and up, extend. If you want to, leave that leg high or bring it low and bring that leg out to the left side and flip. Flip your dog. Coming back, hand down, right leg lifts up. Bend your knee and thread it under the arch of your, of your body this time and turn. Hand down, three-legged dog, three-legged plank, three-legged cobra, or three-legged upward facing dog, back to three-legged plank, three-legged puppy pose, three-legged dog, and downward facing dog. Spinal wave. Left side, curl your leg up, point the knee back and up, extend. Keep that leg high or bring it low and bring it to the right side on the calf side of your leg, of your standing leg, and twist, lifting up. How are we doing? Hand down on the mat, just a moment back in three-legged dog, then soften that floating leg, thread it under the arch of your body in front of your leg, and twist to the other side, flipping over to the other side. Breathing, hand down, three-legged dog, float forward, three-legged plank, all the way down or halfway, three-legged cobra or three-legged upward facing dog, back to three-legged plank, three-legged puppy, three-legged dog, bend that knee, step it down, spinal wave. Heels up, knees all the way down. Untuck your toes and press back. Extended child's pose. Deep full breath. Wave yourself up into a cat pose. Curl your right leg up and step it forward 
on the pinky side of your hand. So I'll bring my left hand away so you can see my hand and my foot are in alignment. Hand down from here. Bend your elbows, bow down. Walk your hands to the back, crawling your fingers as far to the back as they'll go. Breathing, adjusting yourself on the mat. Bring your body weight to the back so that your front knee, and I'll bring pair back my pose so you can see from here, bring your body weight to the back so the front knee can afford to be nice and straight. And you're reaching to the back. Interlace your fingers behind your standing leg. This would be my left. Bring your body weight forward, bending your front knee once again and lengthening out the back. This is a good counter pose for all of those strong back bends that we've been doing. From here, pair back the pose so that when you release your hands, you don't fling forward. Forearms down on the mat, extend your back leg as far as it will go. If you can spot my knee here, my knee is pointing up, my right knee is pointing up and come into a very low lizard's lunge. Hands back in line with your front foot. Lift yourself up, drag your left knee forward so that you can crawl your right leg back into cat pose. And I'll do my left. Left leg lifts up, step it forward. Pinky side of your hand, bend your elbows and walk your hands to the back. And stay here first, stay here for a few breaths. Adjust your standing knee if you need to, to accommodate your arms. Then bring your body weight to the back. See my front knee? It's coming into a straight line. So that's what I was trying to show you on my right side. You're pressing your hands strongly into the mat so your elbows don't hyperextend and so that it's safe for your elbows to catch your body weight. Lift yourself up slightly, pair back the pose, Interlace your fingers behind your standing leg and bend your front knee, drawing your body weight forward this time. So your hands should really be strongly bound behind your leg so you don't fling forward. There is quite a strong push and pull action of the body here. Pair back the pose so that you can afford to safely Release your fingers, forearms down on the mat so you're crawling yourself forward, elbows maybe in line with your heels, and slide your back leg into its fullest length. This is quite strong for the, for the leading hip. This would be my left hip. So just pair it back. Don't slide that back leg too far if your hips won't take that opening. And this paired back pose is good. Wave yourself up. Hands back down on the mat, a la plank. Walk your left leg to the back and rest in extended child's pose. Deep full breath. Notice my elbows are not sinking down here. They're lifted up. Waving up. Cat, readjust your hands so you come into a nice cat pose. Right leg curls up, step it forward. Hands go to the back, soften your elbows and crawl them to the back. My, my right knee here is still bent. Then when my hands have come into their farthest distance, extend your front knee, lengthen out your front knee. Support yourself with your arms. Give your elbows a bend. Don't lock your elbows this way, if you can see that. This is locked, not very safe. Give them a micro bend. Good. They're like shock absorbers, so they need to have a bit of give. From here, pair back the pose. Interlace your fingers behind your standing leg. 
Then bring your body weight to the front. Deep, full breath. Pair back the pose. Release your fingers. Forearms down on the mat. Elbows in line maybe with your heel. And stay here if this is enough. Or, once again, slide your left leg, your back leg, as far back and as long as it will go. Deep, full breath. In a deep lizard's lunge. Your body will feel as if all of the weight is on your left arm. Distribute it. Rock a little bit to the right side. Hands slide in line with your front foot. Lifting yourself up. Drag your back knee closer in. And walk back into your cat pose. An extended child's pose. Why not? Just releasing in this pose. Waving up. Left side. Curl up your left leg. Step it forward. Pinky side of the hand. Walk your hands to the back. Bow down. Go as far as you'll go, as deeply as you'll go. And then front leg lengthens out. So your sit bone is also being drawn down to your heel. We're not necessarily sitting down because that's going to be a precarious um, position for your elbow. If you can see this, the crossing of my leg and my elbow. Don't go all the way down because then you might, um, like I said, it's precarious for that elbow. Give your elbows a micro bend. Lengthen out the front leg. Pair back the pose. Bend your left knee once again. Interlace your fingers behind your standing leg and push your body weight forward. Deep, full breath. Release a pose, pair it back first, then you can release your fingers quite safely, elbows down on the mat, and stay here. If you can see, both my knees are still bent, or if you want to, lengthen out that back leg down on the mat, sliding it away from the body. Distribute your weight, rock your body weight a little bit more on that left side. Hands crawl back in line with your foot. Back leg drags forward. Walk your left foot to the back. Knee down. Extended child's pose. Deep full breath. Waving up. To cat pose. One at a time. It doesn't matter which one first. Bring your feet down on the mat. Sink your hips down, elbows on the inside of your knees, hands together, and you're really pressing your hands in, pushing your elbows into your knees, opening the hips. I'll just turn so you can see the pose this way. Deep, full breath. Now, from here, and I'll turn back to face the top edge of my mat. Hands down on the floor, heels of the, of the hands, wrists really close to your, to your toes. Lift your hips up, lift your heels up, and press your shins into your upper arms. Body weight forward. And just rock forward and back here. You don't have to lift if you don't want to lift. But if you do want to try, you can bring your body weight forward and just lift one foot at a time. Resetting yourself every now and then, one foot at a time. Once you've built that confidence, you can lift both feet up into your bakasana. Crow pose. Breathing here. Feet down, 
and back into Malasana. Deep full breath. Release back down on the mat. Extended child's pose. Waving up to cat pose. One at a time, it doesn't matter which one first. Bring your feet down on the mat. Sink your hips down, elbows on the inside of your knees, hands together, and you're really pressing your hands in, pushing your elbows into your knees, opening the hips. I'll just turn so you can see the pose this way. Deep, full breath. Now, from here, and I'll turn back to face the top edge of my mat. Hands down on the floor, heels of the, of the hands, wrists really close to your, to your toes. Lift your hips up, lift your heels up, and press your shins into your upper arms. Body weight forward. And just rock forward and back here. You don't have to lift if you don't want to lift. But if you do want to try, you can bring your body weight forward and just lift one foot at a time. Resetting yourself every now and then, one foot at a time. Once you've built that confidence, you can lift both feet up into your bakasana. Crow pose. Breathing here. Feet down and back into Malasana. Deep full breath. Release back down on the mat. Extended child's pose. Here, wave yourself back up. Cross your ankles or any way that you want to, bring your legs out. I like crossing my ankles, rocking back, and bringing the legs out. But you can always just swing your legs out through one side. Wave the spine here. Bring your body weight towards the back, so lean back. Your hands can be holding on to your legs, or you can extend them forward and lift up into a half boat. Deep, full breath. Bring your feet down, roll back, heels close to the sit bones. You can brush your, your, your fingers on your Achilles here. Press your hands strongly into the mat, tilt your hips and peel your spine off the mat. Don't rush this flow. Roll back down with a tiny bit of momentum, lift back up into your boat, half boat or full boat. Feet down, roll back, draw your feet close to your sit bones, tilt the hips and lift. You can walk your shoulder blades closer together. Don't rush, roll down. Tiny bit of momentum, lift your legs up and back into full boat or half boat. Deep full breath. Roll down, feet in, hips tilt, and lift. Just a shallow bridge. Roll down, two more. Bring yourself up, boat. Roll back, feet down, tilt the hips, and bridge, pressing your arms strongly into the mat. Roll down and lift up. Deep full breath. Last one, coming back down on the mat. Tilt the hips. Once again, don't rush. Last bridge. So enjoy the pose. Deep, full breath. Don't do what I'm doing, by the way, looking towards the camera. When you're in your pose, don't turn your head. Roll your spine down. Give your spine 
your hips that time to neutralize. You can, you can shake them a little bit. Why not? Shake them a little bit. Bring your arms to face up. And one at a time, curl your legs close to the chest. Sacroiliac joint massage. Drop your knees out to one side. Doesn't matter which side. Push them forward. Drag them back in. Draw them back in through the opposite side and back to center. Opposite side, drawing a big circle with the knees. Move with your breath and back in. You can even close your eyes at this point. Just do your sacroiliac joint massage. And once you're done, bring your, your knees back in. Last one of this, extend your legs. Hands can be supporting the, the legs, clamping them in. Plantar flex the ankles. But once your legs are up, once your feet are pointing up towards the ceiling, once again, flick your toes. We like this pose. It strengthens the soles of the feet. And stay here if this is enough. But if you want a little bit more, bend your knees and prepare for a shoulder stand. Now I can turn my head once I've lifted up and don't turn your head once you've lifted up. Arms really close to the body. Head in neutral with a little bit of momentum. Lift your legs up. Catch your hips with your hands and lengthen your legs up. Don't press your chin to your chest. Don't make this a neck stand. Very bad for your atlas and your axis. Deep full breath. We won't stay here for very long. Bend your knees and roll out. Do it gently and down on the mat. Last one, bring your arms under your body, extending your elbows, extending your joints. Elbows crawling as far under your body as they can. Toes, plantar flex, ankles, plantar flex, toes flicked up. Then chest lifts up, let your head go. In Matsyasana, breathing here. And exhale, release the pose, release the arms, widen your feet a little bit and let your